Welcome to the lecture series on uh, numerical methods and uh, currently we are discussing uh, interpolation. In the interpolation section we have uh, covered this uh, finite difference uh, approximations like uh, uh, Newton's forward difference approximations, backward difference approximations and all of these uh, finite difference operators. Today we will discuss about uh, Lagrange interpolation method and uh, Newton's uh, divided difference interpolation. So first we will start about uh, Newton's uh, sorry Lagrange interpolation formula. In the Lagrange interpolation formula is applicable for both this uniformly and uh, non-uniformly spaced grid sizes. Especially in a uh, interpolation formula we will have this uh, tabular values like uh, x0 y0, x1 y1, x2 y2, x3 y3 so likewise. So earlier whatever this formula we have uh, discussed or uh, derived basically all these lectures they are uh, discussed for this uh, finite difference uh, operators which are used for equispaced points. Sometimes if you will just see these points which are placed here like if you will have the tabular points like xi, yi where i is varying from 0 to n here. Then these points will be placed like x0, y0, x1, y1, x2, y2 up to xn, yn here. So if you will just consider these tabular points like x0, y0 will be placed like this point here, x1, y1 will be placed here and uh, suppose the next tabular point x2, y2 is placed here next the tabular point will be placed as x3, y3 here. So likewise suppose the points will be placed. But if you will just see the distance between these two points which are unequally since uh, this is uh, not equals to this one or this is not equals to this one here. This means that we can just say that x1 minus x0 is uh, not equals to x2 minus x1 here or this is not equals to x3 minus x2 here. So, in this case we cannot use like Newton's forward formula or Newton's backward difference formula or any of these say, forward difference approximations. So, for that we need a separate formula which can deal this unequally spaced points here. So, basically this unequally spaced points here we will just consider three different uh, interpolation methods to approximate this function with a polynomial that is first one is Lagrange interpolation method, second one is a Newton's divided difference formula and third one is a Hermite's interpolation method. And in this method if you will just say this method simply suggests to represent the given data like xi, y a, i equals to 0, 1, 2 up to n which can be approximated in the form of uh, y i equals to p of x i here. where p of x can be written in the form of a0, a1x, a2x square up to a n x to the power n, where these coefficients a0, a1, a2 up to a n are to be determined. And to determine this n plus 1 coefficients here, since it is a polynomial of a degree n. So, we need like n plus 1 equations to evaluate these coefficients there. Since all of these are constants, sorry, all of these constants here, so one value like a0 can be taken to the right hand side, all of these variables associated here a1 to an can be evaluated by considering n equations here. So, for that suppose we have to consider a polynomial of a degree 1 for the first case. If you will just consider the polynomial of a degree n equals to 1 here, we can just write here the points like x0 and x1 with a linear polynomial approximation or a polynomial of a degree 1 here or polynomial of a degree 1 here. that is p of x equals to f of x here which can be written in the form like a1 x plus a0. And if we will just approximate 
this function with a polynomial to determine this coefficients a0 and a1 from this equation we have to consider three equations that is in the form of like a p of x then if you just put that x equals to x0 where p of x is exactly equals to f of x or at x equals to x1 suppose p of x is exactly equals to f of x here then we can just uh, eliminate this coefficients a0 and a1 in a polynomial form here. So, if you just uh, do the things we can just write p of x equals to a1 x plus a0 where a0 and a1 are the arbitrary constants which satisfies the interpolating conditions that is f of x0 equals to p of x0 as a1 x0 plus a0 here. Similarly, we can just write f of x1 that is p of x1 this equals to a1 x1 plus a0 and our original form of the equation that is especially written in the form of p of x equals to a1 x plus a0 here. So, if we want to eliminate a0 and a1 from these three equations, we can just write these equations in the form like p of x x 1 then f of x 0 x 0 1 f of x 1 x 1 1 this equals to 0. If you will just expand this determinant here we can just obtain that p of x into x 0 minus x 1 minus f of x 0 into if you will just see that is x minus x 1 plus f of x 1 into x minus x 0 here this equals to 0. If we want to find p of x or the polynomial to be determined here, so then it can be written as p of x equals to x minus x 1 divided by x 0 minus x 1 f of x 0 minus x minus x 0 divided by x 0 minus x 1 f of x 1 which can be written as x minus x 1 by x 0 minus x 1 f of x 0 plus x minus x 0 by x 1 minus x 0 f of x 1 here. Since I have just a minus sign is there, so I have just a taken common minus from this uh, denominator side. So, that can be written in the form of x minus x 0 by x 1 minus x 0 into f of x 1, where I can just write this one as L 0 of x f of x 0 plus L 1 of x f of x 1 here, where I can just write L 0 x equals to x minus x 1 divided by x 0 minus x 1 and L 1 x that can be written as x minus x 0 by x 1 minus x 0 here. So, if we will just uh, see here that these are called L 0 x and L 1 x are called Lagrange's fundamental polynomials which satisfies if you will just add it of both these terms here like L 0 x plus L 1 x here which can be written as x minus x 1 by x 0 minus x 1 plus x minus x 0 by x 1 minus x 0 here. So, this total value can give you the values as 1 here. Since, if we can just put here that is L 0 of x 0 that is nothing but 1 here. Since, x 0 can be replaced here. So, x 0 minus x 1 by x 0 minus x 1 that will just give you 1 here. If I will just replace x by x 1 here, this means that L 1 of x 1 that will just give you x 1 minus x 0 by x 1 minus x 0 as the value is 1 here. This means that L i of x j this equals to 1 whenever i equals to j and this equals to 0 whenever i is not equals to j there. Then 
we can just write L i of x j this equals to delta that is Kronecker delta of i j this equals to 1 if i equals to j and 0 if i is not equals to j there. So, if you will just extend this uh, uh, linear polynomial to another order polynomial here. So, we can just write this complete polynomial p of x as p of x equals to l 0 x f of x 0 plus l 1 x f of x 1 plus of 2 l n x f of x n, where this coefficient like l i x can be written as x minus x i sorry x minus x 0 x minus x 1 to x minus x i minus 1 x minus x i plus 1 up to x minus x n divided by x i minus x 0 x i minus x 1 up to x i minus x i minus 1 x i minus x i plus 1 up to x i minus x n here. And uh, it can be written in a combined form that is p of x this equals to summation of i equals to 0 to n l i x f of x i here. And obviously, this l i x will satisfy the property that is l i of uh, x j this equals to 1 when i equals to j and 0 when i is not equals to j here. If I will just uh, take the product of the term like x minus x i in the upper side here. So, I can just write that one as product of summation i equals to 0 to n x minus x i divided by x minus x i here into your products like x i minus x 0 x my x i minus x i minus 1 x i minus x i plus 1 up to x i minus x n here. And also sometimes people are just using since this is a product form here I can just write this one as product of i equals to 0 to n here that is x minus x i divided by x minus x i into this term I can just replace as pi days of i equals to 0 to n x i minus or I can just write this one as since these terms are written as x i minus x 0, x i minus x 1. So, if I will just take the derivative of this term with respect to x i here, then I can just write pi dash of x i here that one. So, we can just denote in our uh, like a convenient form that is uh, in a derivative form if I will just take the expansion here and with respect to x i if I will just take the derivatives then only this x i term except this x i term all other terms will be 0. So, in that way also I can just uh, write this expansion that is in the form of like a x i minus x j if I will just write or I can just write this one as x minus x i also. So, it is very convenient to express uh, this L i x term in different senses since uh, the all of these terms are occurring in the form of a product terms here. So, that can be expressed. To go for this uh, polynomial, so what is uh, just created in the form of like Lagrange interpolation. So, we will, we will just discuss uh, about a example that uh, using suppose uh, like the data like x equals to 0, 1, 4, 5 and the corresponding data of y equals to 8, 11, 68, 123, how we can determine the value of y or the function f of x at the point 2 that we will discuss using Lagrange interpolation polynomial here. Since the data points whatever it is just given, it is given in the form like x as 0, 1, 4, 5 here and corresponding y data that is given as 8, 
11, 68, 123. And since we will have this uh, points like uh, 0, 1, 2, 3. So, we can just go up to a polynomial that is of degree like 3 here. So, that is why we can just write this one as or this Lagrange polynomial expression will be or the Lagrange polynomial expression is like li of x, I can just write x minus x i, sorry this is a x minus x 0, x minus x 1 of 2 x minus x n divided by x i minus x 0, x i minus x 1 of 2 x i minus x n here. And the complete polynomial P of x can be written as L 0 x f of x 0, L 1 x f of x 1, L 2 x f of x 2, L 3 x f of x 3. So, if I will just uh, go for the computation of L 0 x here, so L 0 x can be written as x minus x 1, x minus x 2, x minus x 3 divided by x 0 minus x 1, x 0 minus x 2, x 0 minus x 3 here. Since we have here 4 data points, like the 4 data points can be signified as x 0 equals to 0 here, x 1 equals to 1 here, x 2 equals to 4 here and x 3 can be written as 5 here. So, if we just uh, uh, put all these points here that can be written in the form like x minus 1, x minus 4, x minus 5 divided by 0 minus 1, 0 minus 4, 0 minus 5 here. So, if we want to evaluate L 0 x at the point 2, since the question is asked to evaluate the functional value at point 2. So, directly we can just replace here L 0 at the point 2 and putting this 2 at the position of x in each of this expression here. So, if you will just replace here like L 0 of uh, 2. So, we can just write this one as 2 minus 1, 2 minus 4, 2 minus 5 divided by 0 minus 1 that is minus 1, then minus 4, then minus 5 here. And uh, similarly, we can just uh, write L 1 x also and L 2 x, then L 3 x we can just write and if we just put all these values with the functional values here, we can just obtain the total expression as your uh, y of x or p of x can be expressed as x minus x 1, x minus x 2, x minus x 3 divided by your value that is 0 minus 1, 0 minus 4, 0 minus 5 into first value that is uh, your functional value we, I can just write that one as uh, here, since it is just given as 8 here plus <coughs> x minus 0, x minus 4, x minus 5 divided by 1 minus 0, 1 minus 4, 1 minus 5 into 11 plus x minus 0, x minus 1, x minus 5 divided by 
4 minus 0, 4 minus 1, 4 minus 5 into 68 plus x minus 0, x minus 1, x minus 4 divided by 5 minus 0, 5 minus 1, 5 minus 4 into 123. Since we want to evaluate this uh, y of x or p of x value at exactly x equals to 2 here. So, we can just put here y of 2 and this total value that can become s or we can just obtain that value as 8 in here. So, since we are just using this Lagrange interpolation polynomial, if you just see the data points here first point is 0, then second point is 1, then third point is 4 here. If you will just see this difference or this difference both are unequal here. And again this 4 and 5 this difference is 1 here, this difference is 3 and this is 1 again. So, that is why you cannot use any class of like a finite difference operators to find this value at x equals to 2 here. So, Lagrange method this can also be applicable if we will have this uh, data points is given and if it is asked to evaluate this functional values within any any of these functional values here. And for that what we will do is that we have to fit another polynomial suppose q of y such that the function is defined as x as a function of y there. This means that always we are just expressing y as a function of x. If it is asked to evaluate this functional value, we can just use it in a reverse form. That means that we can just use that one as x equals to q of y there. Since y as the independent variable and x as the dependent variable. So, for that we can just consider another example suppose y equals to f of x then usually we can just express in a inverse form here x equals to g of y here to find this uh, values at the tabular points if a function is prescribed to us. The following data are prescribed here like y equals to xs q is given here x at the points like 1, 2, 3 and y values are given as 1, 8 and 27 here. And the question is asked to compute the root of 21 from the above data using Lagrange's method and also discuss the error associated in that formulation. So, for that what we will do is we can just express this function in a inverse way as like x is given here as 1, 2, 3 and corresponding y values that are written as here 1, 8, 27 here. And so, if the question is asked to find the value of x where y value is 21 here, we can just write this formulation in a reverse form that x as a function of y here. Especially if you will just see this part here, x is expressed as a function of y here. So, that is why we can just write this formulation x as a function of y which can be expressed as y minus y1, y minus y2 divided by we can just write as y0 minus y1, y0 minus y2 and corresponding value it will just take these values as x0 here plus we can just write y minus y0, y minus y2 divided by your values like uh, y1 minus y0, y1 minus y2 into this functional values which can be in a inverse form it can be written as x1 here and uh, the last part you can just write this one as y minus y0, y minus y1 divided by y2 minus y0, y2 minus y1 into x2 here. So, if you will just uh, represent this Lagrange polynomial in this form here. So, especially we are just writing in this form here x0 as 1, x1 as uh, 2, x2 as 3 here and corresponding y values these are expressed as y0 equals to 1 here, y1 as uh, 
8 here, y2 as 27 here. And if you we'll just uh, put these values here, then we can just uh, find this functional values as like x of 21. Since the y value it is asked to compute the x position that where we can just find this cube root of 21 there. Since especially the function is defined in the form of like y equals to x s q here. So, that is why if in inverse form if you will just write x can be expressed as y to the power 1 by 3 here. So, that is why if it is a asked to compute this one x of 21 here. So, then we can just write this one as 12 sorry this is like a 21 minus your y 1 that is a here as a like a 8 21 minus 27 divided by the corresponding values of y 0 here as 1 minus 8 1 minus 27 into x 0 value x 0 value is especially 1 here plus if you will just write again like 21 minus y 0. So, y 0 is a 1 here then into 21 minus y 2 here. So, y 2 is obviously sorry this is a y 2 y 2 is a 27 here this divided by like if you will just write here our value y 1 y 1 means uh, this is 8 minus 1 then 8 minus 27 and the second value if you will just write this is uh, 2 here plus the third value if you will just write here that is in the form of like uh, if you will just see. So, last value we can just write 21 minus y 0 1 21 minus 8 divided by if you will just see here. So, especially y 2 means this is a 27 minus 1 27 minus 8 into the last value that is given as a 3 here. If you will just go for this computation, so then we can just find this value in a particular form and uh, we can just obtain this value of x of 21 there itself. So, if you will go for this uh, error computation here, we can just uh, find the exact cube root of 21 as 2.7589 and uh, if we want to go for the computation of error terms here in case of Lagrange interpolation polynomial that the generalized interpolating polynomial errors what is occurring in our finite difference operator the same we can just find this error term that in a generalized form we have just obtained that one as r of x equals to x minus x 0, x minus x 1 to x minus x n f to the power n plus 1 zeta by n plus 1 factorial where zeta should be lies between x 0 to x n. So, the same approximation we can just use over here also. For n terms usually we are just writing this error term r of x as x minus x 0, x minus x 1 up to x minus x n f to the power n plus 1 zeta by n plus 1 factorial where zeta should be lies between x 0 to x n here. So, the same approximation we can just use for the computation of error here also and in this case if you just go for this uh, error computation I can just write r of x equals to x minus 1 x minus 8 x minus 27 into f triple dash of uh, zeta by 3 factorial here. Since we will have here like uh, uh, 3 points like n equals to 2 here. So, 3 points that is why we are just considering 1, 8, uh, 27. So, it can just generate a polynomial of uh, degree 2 and uh, that is why 3 points means uh, we will have uh, uh, a polynomial of a degree uh, suppose if you are just considering a polynomial of a degree n plus one, uh, n there then we will have exactly n plus 1 terms. So, that is why here we will have like 3 points 1, 2 and 3 we are just considering that is why this uh, degree of the polynomial will be 2 here and uh, if n equals to 2 here 
obviously we can just write f to the power n plus 1 that is a 2 plus 1 is 3 here. So, this represents the third order derivative here and this is 3 factorial. So, if you just go for the computation of uh, this error term here, so y can be expressed as uh, in the form of like uh, x to the power 1 by 3 here and if you just uh, go for this uh, triple order derivative f triple dash of x here, I can just uh, express this one as uh, 10 by 27 x to the power minus 8 by 3. And the maximum value of uh, f triple dash x at x equals to 1, it can just uh, obtain and uh, hence your error term that is r of 21 can be written as 21 minus 1 into 21 minus 8 into 21 minus 27 and the maximum value that is occurring at uh, 10 by 27. So, that is why 3 factorial I can just write this one that is as uh, r of 21 as 21 minus 1, 21 minus 8, 21 minus 27 into this one as uh, 10 by 27 into 1 by 6 here. So, this total value it is just coming as a 96.3 here or 96.29 something it is just coming over that. So, the drawback of uh, uh, this method that is if we want to add suppose any other term we have to go for this computation of n plus 1 terms here. This means that whenever we have a extra point here usually we are just writing p of x as f of x or we are just writing this one as y of x here that is represented in the form of L0 x f of x 0 L1 x f of x 1. So, likewise we are just writing ln x f of x n here, but suddenly if some suppose one extra point if we want to add it up here, then we have to consider that this n plus 1 point in each of these products here, since L 0 x is usually expressed in the form of x minus x 1 to x minus x n by x 0 minus x 1 to x 0 minus x n there. So, if another extra point if it will be added, so in upper side also we have to consider like x minus x n plus 1, lower side also we have to consider x 0 minus x n plus 1 also. So, in each of the terms if it is multiplied, so a large multiplier it is required to go for the solution process. In this uh, Lagrangian method usually in if you, you want to add suppose any term we can just find that the all of the terms like L 0 x if it is written, so it can be written in the form of like x minus x 1 to x minus x n divided by like x 0 minus x 1 to x 0 minus x n here. So, if we want to add extra more term or one more term there, then we have to do all of the computations again. So, that is why we can just go for like uh, Newton's divided difference interpolation formula for the better computation or it requires like less computation for uh, an extra addition of these points here. Thank you for listening this lecture.